The Good Old Salad Days, presented by Stilla Frog. We really need to get our washing machine fixed. I called on that. I told you. They said they could send someone out next week. We, however, don't have enough clothes, specifically undergarments, to sustain us until then as we were on the cusp of our wash cycle. So alas, here we are at the local laundromat. But doesn't this remind you of our salad days? We were poor, but we were happy. Remember? <laughs> poor and happy. I mean, those two words cannot possibly be uttered together in the same sentence. And salad days is a highly overrated euphemism for struggling, broke, and miserable. I beg to differ. There was an air of romance to it. Romance? Really? Like what? Like when we would go to the movies, and then when the film was done, we'd wait till the usher was looking the other way and run into another theater to catch another film. <laughs> that was so much fun. There was a hint of adventure to it. A hint of... That's your take on adventure? <laughs> or how about when we used to have to supplement our heat with those space heaters? We'd pretend it was like a campfire in our apartment and huddle close together under a blanket next to the thing. That's romance to you. The whole damn place smelled of kerosene. I think that's the reason I have asthma issues today. Well, have you forgotten about when we'd have to split like a single lo mein from the Chinese palace on the rare occasion we did get takeout? I always let you have the extra shrimp. <laughs> Extra shrimp, really? There were like three minuscule shrimp in the entire thing. Uh, and I recall going to bed with my stomach growling and being still ravenously hungry. <laughs> yeah, that was so much fun. wonder why we didn't just opt to stay poor and unfed. Okay, you're taking all the fun out of this. Oh, well, that's because there was nothing fun about it. Just like there's really nothing ostensibly fun about this. I mean, we're in a laundromat at 10 p.m. for crying out loud. It smells of old feet, mold, and mildew. And there's a guy in the corner who I'm pretty sure has been talking to that creepy doll in the seat next to him for like the past 20 minutes. And I'm getting the distinct feeling that either that doll is going to come alive and slash our throats... Or the guy is going to start speaking in tongues and spontaneously turn into, like, Satan and suck up our souls. Well, that is some imagination. <laughs> My point is, wouldn't you much rather be at home, comfy on our couch, watching our very large TV, versus these tiny little phone screens not being stared at by Jeffrey Dahmer over there and his psychotic Chucky doll? Right, so you can sit in your recliner, I can stay by myself on the sofa, and we can watch a stupid sci-fi or action-adventure movie, which you're only partially watching because you're too busy scrolling on your phone. And then we can eventually fall asleep in those same positions only to get up around midnight with stiff necks and sore backs, make our way to bed, pass out and fall asleep, and just repeat the same cycle in the morning. I'm, you say repeat the cycle as though that's a bad thing. I mean, repetition is living. We got out of bed this morning. We're getting back into bed tonight. Assuming we don't get cut to ribbons by wild-eyed Satan and Chuck. And with luck, we'll get out of bed again in the morning. We had breakfast. A few hours later, we had lunch. Then dinner. And guess what? Three times again tomorrow. You just took a breath two seconds ago. You're going to have to take another one about mm, two seconds from now. It's just... Breathe, breathe, breathe all day long, once every four or five seconds, eight or nine hundred times an hour, about twenty thousand times a day from now until you die. That's life. Repetition. Sameness. I don't mean that kind of sameness, and you know it. So stop being difficult. What I mean is that we need adventure in our life. At least back in our salad days, we believed in changing things up. Ah, you mean like the hazelnut coffee with exactly one stevia and one creamer that you have every single morning? You're missing the point. And you're missing it intentionally because you're annoyed that we have to be here. <laughs> what? Me? Annoyed that we're basking in the delightful, cafe-like ambience of this charming little late-night spot uh, as we reminisce about our torrid romance of yesteryear? <laughs> Whatever can you mean? You know exactly what I mean. Back then, we sat on the same sofa. We touched and actually communicated instead of just getting lost in the islands of our own pieces of furniture and our soul-sucking devices. No, you make all that sound so awful. 
almost like being in a filthy laundromat with a couple of sketchy characters as midnight approaches. <laughs> Our sameness is normal. It's pleasant, like your coffee. Tell you what, how about when we go home, we sit on the sofa together. Sure. And I promise not to look at my phone during whichever rom-com, chick flick, sappy woman drama you want to watch. Well, thank you, I think. Look, I do get what you're saying. In the beginning, everything is new and special and exciting. Even jumping movie theaters. <laughs> the laundromat, though? I honestly, I... Don't know that I can look upon this place fondly. We're out of the house. We're sitting on adjoining, uncomfortable metal chairs watching our unmentionables spin together on the rinse cycle. <laughs> and look, we're actually holding hands. Hmm. I guess being anywhere with you is good. Hello. I hate to bother you, but did you know that the devil exists in all of us? Even in my doll over there. Guess what? He has a message for you. <laughs> Let's just leave the clothes. Yep. Who needs underwear anyway? It's the salad days, remember? Point taken. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Way ahead of you. I suppose it's back to separate couches. And a Lord of the Rings marathon? Nah. I meant it. Same sofa. You pick the flick. Okay. I like that. Now let's hurry up and get the hell out of here. Uh -huh.